Hey guys, it's Ryan here with Ghost Surf Assist, and today we're going to be going over the installation of the electrical components of the GSA kit. Now, if you haven't already done so, and you're installing the tabs, please go to the website and watch the flat transom installation video. We also have a videos for specifically the X30 and the X45 and the Mastercraft X-Star. Most boats will watch the flat transom installation video for the tabs. If you have any questions also, you can always call for 24 hour customer support here at GSA. So let's dive into this. You're gonna get a bag in your kit. In this bag, we'll start pulling everything out. The first thing that's gonna be in the bag, or depending on what you pull out, but if you pull this red bag with bubble wrap around it, is going to be your GSA controller. It's gonna look like this, we'll set that aside. The next bag I have here looks like it's going to have a face plate. Here we have a GPS antenna. We have your face plate that's already wired up. Okay. So one thing I did forget to grab out of the bag was these four screws that go into the face plate. Um, they'll be in a blue bag like this, and you just uh, open this up here, I already did, and you've got these four screws. So these are going to be what mount the faceplate. They are an S1 square head. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, they're not your typical uh, Phillips head. So. And the next bag will be... going to be your 20 foot extension harnesses that you go from the actuator up to the control harness. And the last little bag, get it opened up. Will be your power and Linko wires that attach to your controller. And this is the other power harness and I'll explain that here in a second. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is find a suitable power source for the system. The system needs to use about 25 amps. We build this harness right here so that you can connect this directly to a power bus and a ground bus. Usually you can find those underneath your dash somewhere. If you have a boat that's 2006 and older, it might be a little bit more difficult to find. Um, I have had customers cut these and splice them and make them longer and wire directly into the perco switch or the main cutoff switch in your boat. Do not wire this up to ignition power. We want this on the cutoff power, the main cutoff switch power on your boat. Okay. Also, the black wire is the power wire. If you look, the black wire has the fuse in it. This is the positive. The white wire is the ground. So just a heads up on that. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, the next thing, this power wire will plug into this harness here. There's only one way to plug it in. It won't plug into these two. It'll only plug into those. Okay. Now, controller. This black plug will only fit in this plug. It'll snap in. It will not plug into this side. Even though they look the same, It'll only plug into this side. Okay, we're gonna snap that in. Make sure it gets a good solid click. Okay, GPS antenna. This antenna, it does not have to be mounted above your dash. It can be mounted below your dash as long as this antenna is pointed up. Okay, if you look at the antenna, it has a black plastic side on this side, that is the top. So that needs to be facing up, not the bottom. The bottom is a, is a silver kind of wrap. This can be secured with either hot glue or you can um, zip tie it to a wiring harness as long as it's pointing up and it can be underneath the dash. All right, here is your face plate. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Okay. Now, mounting the face plate. In your kit, you will have a pamphlet that looks like this, okay? 
This is also the ins um, instructions for the electrical side. There's some stuff in there that you need to read over in here. It talks about a lot of the stuff I'm talking about now. But in that, as you open this, you will find this template, okay? You can cut this template out with scissors and you can tape it up somewhere. You need to find somewhere in your, um, in your boat. Generally, we like to mount them up on the wall to the right of you by your throttle. Um, master crafts, um, some of the older master crafts, they'll mount down in the bottom left or you have a little blank spot right there. If you have any questions on where to mount this, I mean, you can give us a call. We can tell you kind of where we've done them on, on the model boat that you're referring to. I'm not gonna sit here and go over every boat. Um, honestly, I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but we can look that up and, and tell you where those go. Um, important on this, these hole sizes, it shows what drill size you need to use. So on these three circles, inch and a quarter hole saw. On the hole for the shaper dial, 5 8 drill bit. On the four holes for the screws, it's a 3 seconds drill bit. So the, the kind of information on there that's pretty important, so don't forget that. Um, once you've taped that up on your boat, you've drilled out the holes, you're gonna go ahead and mount this faceplate in there. So to do so, to undo this, it's pretty easy, but I get a lot of questions on this. You just grab this black, and just pull it, right? Just kind of wiggle it and pull it off. It pops right off, just like that. You're just gonna go ahead and wiggle and pull. Kind of wiggle and pull. So once you've taped your um, template up and you've drilled out all the holes, you remove your template and you're gonna take your control harness here, which this plugs into. This right here, it said it only plugs in one way. It will only plug into this side. It will not plug into this side. You're gonna click that in. You'll hear a good solid click. Now, you'll run this wire to the holes that you've drilled, all right? You're gonna put your left button hole through the, the hole on the left side. You're gonna put the reset to the off, and you're gonna put your right to the right hole, and the shaper dial plug will go through the 5 8 hole that you drilled for the shaper dial. Once all this is through where you drilled, you'll stick it through and then you're going to go ahead and connect it. You're going to take the reset to the off, which you should have already pushed it through the hole. And when you're connecting these, I want you to pay special attention that all these pins are straight and you haven't smushed one down or it's laid over because you could force this on and you'll break the button. So make sure everything's straight and you can just slide them on just like that, it's pretty easy. The right side goes to the right. The left side goes to the left button. And this shaper dial plugs in. Just like that. And I'm gonna take you to a close up here of how this shaper dial plugs in because it really only plugs in one way. You have this part and this part, and it goes together just like this right there. Yep. Okay, so once we've got this connected and mounted, and I had, one thing I didn't go over is a suitable place to mount this. Really anywhere underneath your dash is fine. Um, a lot of people don't even screw them in. They'll just zip tie them to wiring harnesses. But if you like, um, if you crawl underneath your dash and you find an area where all the other modules in your boat are mounted, this, that's a really good place to go ahead and mount this. You can just take one of the uh, number 12 stainless steel screws and just run them through the sides here and just, and just kind of screw it into the wall um, on that. Once you've got that mounted, you're going to take this GPS antenna, go ahead and open it up. Kinda, I'm not going to undo the zip tie, but um, You'll just screw this in right here to the top, just like that. Hand tights plenty. And then once again, find a place to mount this while well, it's facing up. It can be underneath the dash, doesn't need to be on top. That's pretty much it for the installation. Uh, the next part I'm going to go, uh, installation underneath the dash. Um, the next part we're going to go over is from the dash back to the back. So. These are your 20-foot extension harnesses. 
one thing I want to go over that's not super clear, we get a lot of questions about it, is which end of these go to the front? Well, there's only one way to plug these in, right? There's a female plug right here. You want to take the male end of this harness and clip it in here. These are labeled. This does say starboard right here. This one does say port, okay? Big um, hint, help you save you some time. Whichever one of these you choose, if you go ahead and you want to use this one on the starboard, make sure you just, I just take a permanent marker and just write an S on this one and an S on this one. That way you know when it gets to the back which one it is up front. And I'll do the same thing, the opposite on this one. I'll write a P for port, P for port. Okay, so you plug, once you plug these in, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Make sure when you're plugging everything in, everything that we plug in will click, right? All right, so now, let's just pretend that I've run these all the way back through the gunnel, I've zip tied everything up, and now I'm at the back of the boat. Kit, you're gonna have two actuators, all right? You'll have two of these for this purpose, I'm just gonna use one. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. In this kit, you will have hardware for the upper mounting bracket, not the lower mounting bracket. This is for the upper. And an actuator. And inside this box, laying in the bottom, you will have a Deutsch connector and the keeper for the Deutsch connector. All right. Now, once we've run the wire to the back, let's just, for instance, say I'm gonna be on the starboard side of the boat, I'm gonna grab the one that says starboard, and it'll be the one I wrote the S on. It'll be on here, I'll already know, right? So, I, now going from the tab video now, we're gonna kinda overlap a little bit. Once I've drilled the hole and I've run the wires through the boat all the way through, now I'm in the inside of the boat, this is what I'll have right here, okay? At this point, you're gonna take the Deutsch connector. The white wire will always go to pin number one on both sides, port and starboard. So on the Deutsch connector, you can see there's a one and there's a two, right? I like to take, I like get them a little bit wet because it does help and you just push that wire in. This is very important. White wire to number one and when I push this in, I'm gonna push it all the way in till it's tight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull on it. See how that came out? Because I didn't have it in all the way. I'm gonna put it in. Now I, I've got it it's solid. I'm gonna slide the other one in. And I'm gonna pull on it. It's in there. You can always look and see that the pins will be flush with the top right there. And they're in there solid. At this point, you go ahead and take the keeper and you snap that in. Those pins won't come out. Now, you go ahead and connect this to that. I recommend cleaning up the wiring, you know, roll it all up, zip tie it up somewhere out of the way. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much the installation of the electrical. It's super easy. But once again, if you have any questions with the electrical, please feel free to give us a call at 940-782-9410. You can ask for me, Ryan, or Crystal, or anybody can help you with this. Um, like I said, enjoy, and you guys have a great year.